Welcome to Reflector Hub TV. Get set for an encounter through God's Word with God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. Number two, I taught us that the second key to preserving the ordinances of God in a territory is the regular convergence of believers. The regular convergence of believers within that territory believers must have systems of regular convergence for the purpose of training for the purpose of building for the purpose of mentoring and for the purpose of receiving the current blueprint of the spirit he that hath an ear not everybody has that ear let him hear what the spirit saith what he's saying not what he said one of the worst things that can happen to you is to be where God was. You must follow him. If he moves this way, that is your destiny. If he moves this way, that is your destiny. The moment you isolate yourself from him, then he is no longer a shepherd and all of a sudden things start going wrong in your life. Number three, an open display of real miracles signs and wonders we cannot preserve the emphasis listen 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 believers hear me this has nothing to do with being called into the miracle ministry if you want men to have memories of the moves of god there must be supernatural manifestations of the power of god beyond the four walls of the church healings and miracles testimonies per second per second that remind people that God is alive are we together someone wants to laugh at God and he just sees a car that should have a ghastly motor accident and God delivered them immediately the person remembers you see him say thank God oh thank God when a when a territory forgets God then there are hardly experiences that keep him in their minds we must emphasize God through miracles, signs and wonders and keep people aware of him. When you see Coca-Cola every day, it's enshrined in your mind. You know how Coke looks like. Educated or not, the moment they say Coca-Cola, we all know it. That's how it must be. So that even an unbeliever outside, when he hears people singing, God is a miracle worker. He won't lie that he does not understand the meaning of that song. He may not be born again, but we have institutionalized the power of God in a territory. It becomes impossible for people to mock God. There may be critics, but they know the truth. Jesus walked upon the earth. He moved in such dimension of power and grace. Although the scribes criticized him in the day, Nicodemus came by night, John 3, and said, Rabbi, we know. He didn't say, I know. All of us, those critics, we know the truth. We know that thou art a man sent from God. What convinced them? For no man can do these things. Not say these things. No man can do these things. I write to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. We are a generation of a performance there must be a performance and the performance must be beyond falling down results results that defy science results that create arguments result that stops an unbeliever from sleeping in the night and he sees this every time god is revealed is a message that pounds in the heart of someone who does not know god it forces men to acknowledge that there is a god because they cannot explain the synergy behind that miracle when people begin to say there is no God, it is because the sons of light have refused to show them God. Are we together? Remember Paul and Silas and the episode of the jailer. The Bible says they were jailed, tied, hands and foot. And the Bible says they prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An earthquake came and rattled the entire prison and then the bible says that the chains broke from their hands and the bible says that while they were singing the praise and the worship 
the jailers all of them had them i'm sure they were laughing stupid people useless prisoners you won't sit down in one place and while they were singing all of a sudden there was a physical earthquake the hands the chains were bound and then all of a sudden the bible says all doors were open and it was time for paul and silas to go out and the jailer wanted to kill himself because he was tantamount to death and he said no you don't have to rush calm down we are here that man got born again immediately one miracle will answer one thousand questions all these useless explanations we keep giving let me tell you every critic already knows the truth explaining to them is a waste of time you answer by a superior performance of the power the grace the wisdom of god not to make a name not to build an empire but to reveal jesus to make him manifest number four and that's where we stopped last week intentional mentorship of younger believers not young believers we are young younger believers if the ordinances of god must be preserved in a territory there must be an intentional system of mentorship that raises the younger believers and it starts right from nursery class primary school etc etc there must be a system of intentional mentorship when we have a generation of people who are ignored do you know by the time an average young man gets to 15 largely he or she their lives have been wrecked beyond repair are we together we must be able to capture people from the ages of these little children and show them god let their lingua franca be jesus and jesus only we mentor them gone are the days where people commit themselves to investing in children ministry and young people society has tainted people the moment you focus on children they say it's because you're a young man and in, in a bit to manage that embarrassment of not looking small or a child we have ignored them and satan says if you ignore them and I'm, I'm available more than available there must be a mentorship of younger ministers younger ministers they must be mentored to understand but the only challenge i have with mentorship is that the mentor himself must have an encounter with god otherwise we're going to mentor our limitations to people it will be a transference of limitations there are many people is because of mentorship they stop believing god there are dimensions of god they would have believed but a mentor created a theology out of his limitation and forced them to believe it and raped their potentials for entering superior dimensions in the spirit there were people who began to have visions dreams prophetic encounters until they met a so-called mentor and he told them it was diabolism and they casted it out and closed the door against the holy spirit not everybody can mentor being in ministry for a long time does not qualify you for mentorship you can be doing the wrong thing in ignorance for many years it's an election of grace god must train people with a track record and a testimony of walking with the holy spirit the word of god is truth the word of god is life the word of god is powerful the word of god is awesome thank you for staying true thank you for listening to god's word i believe you'll be mightily blessed by this video from god's servant i would like you to click on the notification bell so as to receive every of our updates from our content and post online i would like you to don't forget to also subscribe to the reflector hub channel and also share with your loved ones as god will also bless you for that thank you and god bless you